I suppose I should just kind of like try and make the most of this video, I guess. So what is going on guys, it's Lauren and I'm back with another video. Now in today's video, we are doing like a sexual kind of Q&A. Now I've got questions from you guys and I've got questions off of the internet and together we are going to be answering them to find out how spicy my life is, which isn't very spicy right now, so yeah. I'm joking, my life is always great. My camera is wonky, I know that for a big fact. Is that, that's definitely not fair. Okay, usually I do have like fairy lights behind me, usually I am wearing a bra, but neither of those are here today. I don't have a bra on and I don't have any fairy lights because I got stressed out because one of the strands stopped working, so I wrote them all down and that is basically what happened. It is currently like, what, like nearly one in the morning. I'm probably gonna have like three mental breakdowns tonight, but we're back with another video. Let's get straight into it. But obviously I have to say this before we get into the video, don't forget to go check out my Patreon for more exclusive content. Also go follow me on my Instagram, it is laurenwalkers underscore x. It is right here, so definitely go follow me on that. All my social media are in the description and subscribe for more videos. Should I move back a bit? I feel like I should. I'll go here. And I'll put this here. This is the questions. Okay. My next video, I'm going to do a lot more effort. So yeah, I'm going to do a trial next maybe because I haven't done one of them in ages. And yeah, I might as well just do one of them. <laughs> okay, so the first question is, do I like to snuggle? And the answer is, I actually do. Like, let's say you've like, just had sex and it's like always great to cuddle afterwards. But regardless, like, I feel like cuddling up or like snuggling up with someone, it makes me feel safe. And I'm really, like, I'm a really paranoid person. So when I get paranoid, I'm like, I'm really like... I'm really panicky and flush. I'm like, <sighs> okay. When I'm like paranoid or when I'm sad and stuff, I feel like the comfort of someone else is one thing that just really helps me. So yeah, I do like cuddling, and yeah, yeah, I do. I love it. How old was I when I got my first kiss? Okay, I think when I got my first kiss, I was like probably. I actually think I was actually like quite old. Um, well, no, okay, right. So, I got my first, like, when I was, like, nine or something. And then I remember I was, like, eight or something, and this guy, well, because I live in Cyprus, there's this other British guy who went to my school, and I'm actually still friends with him now. And he asked if I could go on, like, a picnic date, but he was like, don't worry, my mum will be there, your mum can be there. My mum was like, yeah, go on, Lauren, go on the pool. And then my mum's boyfriend at the time, who was an absolute fucking arsehole, was like, oh, I'm not having that. And I was like, oh. So, like... Could have been happily married by now, but no, I got rejected. <sighs> Massive cock block from one of my mum's many boyfriends, and yeah. But yeah, my first mwah, kiss was probably when I was like nine. My first proper kiss was probably like when I was like, I don't know, like 13 or something. But then my first, like, intimate, like, mm, I'm really enjoying this kind of like, I don't know, the first kiss I feel like meant something was probably like, I don't know, when I was like 14 or 15, I can't remember. That's when I was like kissing someone that I actually liked, so it was different than just like kissing random people at parties. So yeah, I guess when I was like 14, 15 was like my first proper kiss. Mm -hmm. What do I like about a man? Okay, so something that's really important is like obviously personality, but like kind of like I can see a mosquito. Fuck you, you can't. No, I missed it. Okay, so I feel like when it comes to men, like one thing that's really important is definitely, definitely personality. Like I need someone who's funny and I need someone who can like cheer me up if I'm in a bad mood, which is like all the fucking time, literally like oh, I'm always in a bad mood. So yeah, it's definitely someone who's funny, someone who can pick me up when I'm in a bad mood and I don't know, someone that kind of like just t pays attention to me, but not too much attention. Like if I want my space, I need my space. So someone that gives time to me but then also leaves me on my own a bit because I don't like too much attention and yeah so I guess that's one thing a man has to like take into consideration what are your thoughts on sex in public places I feel like when I was younger I was more like I had more sex in like public places I don't know like sex in cars sex in I don't know forests blah 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 you know all that different stuff, but I feel like now it's kind of better in like, I don't know, like a bedroom or like a hotel room or something like that. I feel like it's more practical and more meaningful than like just meeting up with someone just like, I don't know, fucking a park or something, do you know what I mean? So I guess, yeah, yeah, 
I don't really have that many thoughts on sex in public places. I feel like if you're going to have sex with someone in public, then why not just wait and make it better because you'll be more comfortable, it won't be cold, you won't have, I don't know, like, grass up your ass, etc, etc. So, yeah. Have I ever had a one night stand? Um, I actually haven't. Like, no one ever believes me when I say that, but I've actually never had a one night stand. Like, honestly, I never have. Like, I've never slept with someone that I met on that night. Like, I've, like, kissed someone, but I haven't ever had a one night stand. No, I've never had a one-night stand. Do you like flirting through text? Okay, I am a proper, like, not necessarily tease, where you guys would be like, oh my god, she's such a tease, but I like, I like, yeah, I guess I am actually really flirting over text. Not to like everyone, there's like certain people that'll be like, so yeah, but um, yeah, I guess. More, like, I don't know, more, not more now, like probably more when I was younger, I don't know, more when I was younger I guess. Have I ever gone skinny dipping? My cousin asked me to go skinny dipping when I was like 12 or something, she was like 16, I don't know. She was like, yeah, I just can't run hard that, oh, fuck off. So no, I don't think I've ever actually been skinny dipping. Does talking to you turn you on? Yeah, it actually does, like I enjoy that kind of stuff, so yeah, I guess it does. Do you enjoy being on top? Um. See, I don't mind it. I feel like, I feel like sometimes boys want to do more of the work rather than girls doing the work. But I, like, I don't mind doing the work. Like, I will do the work. Like, I will get on top and ride your dick. Like, I won't expect you to do all the work. So, yeah, I guess it's a bit of both. Like, I do mind it, but then at the same time I don't because, yeah, I don't mind it. Have I ever had phone sex and do I want to try it? No, I've never had phone sex and no, I don't want to try it. No, I do not want to try it. Oh my God, shut up. <sighs> How do I feel about sex on the first date? Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I feel like you have to have sex to know whether you actually have a connection or not. So I guess that's my opinion on it. And yeah. Which part of your body do you like to be kissed the most? Um, probably my neck. Yeah. Oh my god. Bro. I swear I just saw something. I don't know what I saw, but I saw something. Like, I know I did. <laughs> What do I think about handcuffs during sex? Personally, I've never worn handcuffs during sex, but like, I would let someone tie me up, probably, yeah. Why not? Why not? Are you into scratching? Like, I will scratch a guy's back. Like, I've got acrylics on at the moment, but like, when my acrylics aren't on, my nails are a lot sharper because my acrylics are like really blunt. Like, I could scratch and nothing would happen. I have a bruise on my hair, I don't know. I try covering it with makeup, but I have a bruise on my hair and it really hurts when I touch my face, so I don't know why I just touch that side. But yeah, um,. I do like scratching a guy's back. Like I've had it before where I've actually scratched people's backs and like you can like see the marks. I've never done it so that they like bleed. But like I've done it so you can like see the marks for like a good few hours afterwards, so it just means that they're good in bed as well. Not as well. It means if you scratch their back it means that they're doing good at what they're doing, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. My voice is so deep today as well, I actually hate it. Like, I've got to get up so early in the morning. Do you like it rough? Kind of. Not too rough. Like, if I'm, like, tired and someone's trying to, like, choke me and, like, pull my hair up, I'll be like, bro, like, chill out. I'm tired. Let me sleep. But other than that, I'm like, yeah, fuck me, daddy. So, yeah, I guess, kind of. Do I like giving head? See, some girls hate it and some girls refuse to do it, but I feel like it's one of those things in life that you should just do. And if you don't like it, then just get over yourself and just do it. Like, obviously no one's going to say, oh, I love a given head. But I don't mind it, to be fair. Like, I like pleasuring someone else. So, I guess I don't mind it, yeah. Have you done anal? I have done anal, but I didn't really like it. Whether I'll try it again, I don't know. But <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really like it, no. It's just not my thing. Like, some people, like, some boys especially will be like, Oh my god, I did anal, it was so good. And I'm just like, bro, like, anal's fucking wank. What underwear am I wearing right now? I'm wearing a grey thong with grey shorts and no bra. Yay. I don't know when I last wore a bra. Like, honestly, I actually don't know when I was real bright. I didn't wear one today. I didn't wear one yesterday. I actually know yesterday I did wear a bra because I went to a funeral. Yeah, I wore a bra yesterday. No. The day before. I wore a bra on Tuesday because I went to a funeral and I had to wear a bra. Have you ever had freaky thoughts about your boss? 
No, but tell you what, like, I used to work in retail and there was this one guy and, like, literally, like, I'm pretty sure he used to fancy the fuck out of me. But he was, like, huge. Like, I'm talking, like, a six foot, like, five. I was like, bro, I'd get destroyed. Like, I would never wanted to go there, but, like, I was like, Phew. he's probably watching this right now. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure he definitely fancied me. Like, everyone said it as well. But I don't know. He, um, he has a girlfriend now, which is great, and I'm happy for him. Do you want to watch porn with someone? I have actually watched porn with my friend when I was like 14 or something. And we were like, bro, like we gotta get good at this. So we watched porn and we were like, okay, so that's how you give good head. And then the first time I gave head, the guy was like, oh my God, you've definitely done this before. And I was like, no, I definitely haven't. And he was like, whoa, and I was like, okay guys, my camera died, but that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed those questions. Sorry if it was a little bit boring, but it's like 2 a.m. now, so what do you expect? Anyway guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, turn post notifications on and follow me on all my socials. My Instagram is here. My Patreon is down in the description and right here. And I will see you soon for another video. Goodbye.